Madam President, I want to make some comments about the vote that we just had on the floor a while ago. I think that it's time that we quit holding the students of this country hostage one year at a time. That's what the bill that just got turned down for cloture. It just kicks the can down the road a year. Now, there were several Democrats that voted with the Republicans on that one because they thought that it was time to stop kicking the can down the road. Now, how do we stop kicking the can down the road? Take a look at the Republican alternative that was put up. The Democrat one is going to save 40% of the students half of the interest rate for one year. 3.44% will be their interest rate. The Republican plan solves it for all students getting a loan, and it solves it in perpetuity. It does it by making it 3% greater than what the federal government borrows its money at, which at the present time is 3.66%. 3.66% is not much higher than 3.44%, and it's a lot less than 6.88%. Now, why do we have a, a raise to 6.88%? The federal government, this body, and the other body, and the president, decided that a way we could fund health care in this country would be to raise student interest rate, take over the student loan business, and then raise the rates to 6.88%. Provides money for the Affordable Care Act. So we just had a vote without having a side-by-side. -side. Nobody got to vote on the 3.66 interest rate for everybody for perpetuity. But we got to vote for the 3.44% kicking the can down the road a year for just 40% of the students. That's wrong. Why didn't we get to vote on both of them? Well, the Republican plan would have had more votes than the Democrat plan. There are people on the other side that don't want to kick the can down the road and that understand that this is a reasonable solution to the problem. Take care of all the students. Take care of them from now on. And, uh, and, and have a solution to it. But I've got to say it's pretty clever. By bringing up this bill by itself, having it defeated on cloture, um, solves two problems. One, you get to blame the Republicans. And number two, the money will still be there for the Affordable Care Act. So that's keeping the money and blaming the Republicans. How can it get better than that? Well, it can get better than that if we solve it for all of the kids. All of the kids applying for loans this year, not just 40% of them, and solve it so they know exactly where the interest rate's gonna be at the time that they apply, and it stays that way on their loan through the whole time that they have a loan. Now, in future years, as others apply, the interest rate may be higher. It'd be whatever the federal government can borrow money at, and we're not going to be able to borrow it at the low rates that we're borrowing it at now. But they would get the same break that everybody else does of just a 3% higher interest rate. Now, I noticed that the majority leader changed his vote to a no, and that's so that he can bring this bill up again. Why would he bring this bill up again without having the alternate bill so that people could vote for it? And I think it might pass. It's so that we can be blamed one more time. This isn't supposed to be a blame game around here. This is supposed to be finding some common ground and getting things done. And I think there is some common ground. Otherwise, there wouldn't be some Democrats joining the Republicans on a bill that they propose. But that's not the way we need to do bills anyway. We need to have the, the chairman and the ranking member of the appropriate committee sit down and work out a basic bill that can then be amended on the floor. Well, first amended in committee. We're not going through regular process on a lot of these, and, and we should be. Um, I assume that would go to the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. Maybe since it deals with the uh, Health Care Act, it would go to the Finance Committee. But at any rate, there'd be an appropriate committee for it to go to. I'm on both the Finance Committee and the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. And it didn't come to either of those. Neither proposal came to that committee. It's time that we quit making deals around here and started legislating. That's the way that things have been done in America for a couple hundred years. And it's time that we did that again. We can get solutions if it goes through the regular process. And it's time that we just quit kicking the can down the road. So 
I hope that we can reach a solution on this. I hope that if we vote on this one again, we get to vote on both of them again. And we can see where the majority of the votes go. And uh, slowly people are coming to realize that a solution for 100% of the students taking out loans is better than a solution for 40% of the students taking out loans. And one that goes on in perpetuity is better than one that just goes for a year. Every year in July, we say to the students, your interest rate's gonna go up unless we take action. And then we can show that one side to the other doesn't wanna take the action. We've gotta get this problem solved. And there are a lot of other things with higher education that we need to solve as well, and it's time for that bill to be reauthorized, and that should go through regular process as well. So I hope that we can quit blaming each other and get something done on this. And uh, I personally like the long-term solution for 100% of the students instead of the 40% solution for, or the half, half a solution for 40% of the students. I yield.